Hi, and welcome to the episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today I'm going to be taking out four arrows for flight testing. I'll be using 110 grain insert with 125 grain tip, 12.5 aluminum insert with 125 grain tip on my pal driver arrows. But before we do that, remember, YouTube.com, black slash user, black slash 10 Rob Rowe. Rumble.com, black slash user, black slash uh, Utah Crossbow Hunter. And don't forget to hit those subscribe buttons, though, while we're talking. We'll go ahead and hit those buttons right now. Hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up on these videos. I really appreciate it. Also, I'm, you can find me on the World Wide Web at UtahCrossbowHunter.com. And there you'll find all my equipment that I use. Um, all my videos will be on there. So hit me up on there. Also Utah Crossbow Hunter at iCloud.com. You can send me an email. Um, for any future episodes or anything you'd like to see me do. And of course, I'll be your host, Robert. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's show. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be do, uh, doing some flight tests with my Carbon Express Power Driver 390. I'm. Let me show you what I got going here. Okay, so I have 110 grain insert on here with 125 grain um, field tip. 4 inch fletching and a 2 inch fletching. And then 12, 5, I think it is, is the, uh, is the insert here. It's an aluminum insert with 125 grain tip with the 4 inch fletching here and a 2 inch fletching here. So all I'm going to be doing is a flight test. I'm not going to be doing um, uh, any um, uh, sighting or, or anything like that. I just want to see how they fly. That's it. Um, so I have a, another camera behind me um, so we can hopefully see it all together. Uh, so the first round we'll be using the uh, 110 grain insert. 125 grain tip with the, the, the uh, 2 inch fletching and the 4 inch fletching. And these ones here come in at a whopping 544.2 and another one here coming in it says 175 so I, I don't think that's quite correct but it might be. Um, I'll re-weigh those when I go back inside. So let's send the first one down. It's going to be with the 4 inch fletching, the 125 grain tip, the 110 grain insert. Like I said, this isn't a sight. These are not sighted. So let's hope that at least they stay on target. Not bad for not for uh, just uh, not being sighted. So that one flew, looked pretty good. I mean, this isn't going to be the world's biggest sighting or um, flight test. I just want to see how they do and make my decision if I'm going to go to two inch fletching or four inch fletchings. These are on my pal driver arrows. Alright. Alright, why? Alright. Oh. 
Okay. Got it that time. Yeah. Hey, hey. Keys are down range. Back over there. Back over there. Excuse me, just one moment. Over there. Come on. Okay, so this one is going to be with a 2 inch fletching, 125 grain tip with a 110 grain insert. We'll see how this one flies. Alright. Not bad either. I mean, like I said, it's not being sighted in. Um, they're not shooting bad. They're shooting pretty doggone straight. So, so between those two right there, I see no difference, really. Um, I'm happy the way they're shooting. So let me go pull those two out and we'll go to the other arrows. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this round we'll be doing the two inch, the 12.5 grain insert. 125 grain tip and the 4 inch fletching 12.5 grain insert 125 grain tip so we're going to see how those do I mean I probably well I guess my uh, chronograph I got to change the batteries and I'm thinking that's what the problem is uh, if you watched yesterday's video or the last video So, we'll see how this one, these two do. So, the weights on these are 474 and 468.6. All right, the four inch fletching. We'll see how that does. Okay. So that one kind of flew off to the right. From where I was kind of aiming at. That was the biggest mover. Of them all. Of course it's a lighter arrow. So I got a lot of testing that I'm going to be doing. With these arrows. Before I make my decision. Alright. Send this one down. And that one did the same thing. It flew off to the right. Okay. I got better consistency with the heavier inserts. Um, let me go down and collect those and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back inside. Uh, the reason I came back inside is that the wind was starting to pick up a little bit outside. Uh, we're supposed to have a big so-called wind coming in. But um, 
But so overall, the I think the arrows with the 110 grain insert and the 20, 125 grain um, uh, tip flew a little bit better than the ones with the aluminum uh, inserts. Now you can when you pick these up, you can tell the difference. A big time difference. These are definitely heavier arrows. So, like I said, I was going to do some weighing when we got back inside. And as you can hear, my engineers in the background. So we're going to so we'll weigh this one first. The four inch fletching, um, 125 grain, 120 grain, 110 grain insert, 125 grain tip, and it comes in at. Let me write this down while I'm at it. Um, 575.4. And the arrow weighs itself. 450. 450.2. Okay. And the front of center on this one. Let's see if we can do it here. As you can see, we're about, I'm going to say an inch, three, three quarters of an inch to an inch below the covering here where it says pile driver. Okay. Now the two inch fletching. 125 grain tip uh, with 110 grain 125 grain tip 110 grain insert is 544.2 without the insert we're coming in at 420 no, 419. 419.6. Huh. That is interesting. I'm going to have to go back into... Um, let me see here. Okay, so I'm bringing up my table here, my my um, oh my what you call it sheet here, spreadsheet, and let's see, arrow number six was three fifty seven, and I got. I'm going to have to go back and do my spreadsheet again here and do some uh, more calculations uh, on weights. Uh, but for right now, let's see here. My 4 inch fletching, 12 grain, 12.5 grain, and 125 grain tip is 468. 68.6 and it comes in at let's see ah I remember now because this comes in at 329 the arrows that I bought came in at a big difference okay uh, on weight. So, for example, this arrow, number four, I'm weighed in at four, 343, and it just came in at four, let's see, what, let's see, it came in, how much? Three thirty-nine. 
Okay, them showing it, if I would have weighed it before it came in at 343.8 for a total weight of 469. Of course, the weight, uh, 469, yeah. So the weight's about the same. So I'm going to have to again go in and do some more weighing on my arrows and all that kind of good stuff. And of course the front of center on this one is about halfway. So I'm going to do some more weighing and some more calculations with my uh, arrows. Um, and then I'll go out and do some more testing. Because this is going to be an ongoing process for testing, you know, with the 110 grain versus the 12.5 grain. Uh, inserts and I do apologize for the background uh, with my kids but the uh, flight cam that I was using was this Canon let me bring it up here so you can see it it's Canon uh, Vixa HFR 800 and I was pretty impressed with it um, this is a little handy cam um, it shoots really good I really like it so if you're like looking for a vlogging camera or something like that I'd recommend this uh, Canon, and it'll be in the description below also. The only drawback to it is it doesn't have a microphone jack or a light jack up here. But it does have the uh, microphone insert in here, right there. So you, but it has to be a powered mic. That's the only drawback. It has to be a powered mic. And then i am also got these new tripods here. Uh, this is... Call a, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, the ESDDI. Uh, and it's really nice. Um, this adjusts um, up and down, like this, like so. Um, it has a rotating head on it. Let's so get it up here. So, this head, when you release this button here, it's, it rotates very, very smoothly. And I like that. And then this right here adjusts the ball. Loosen up here. Loosen this ball up here. Uh, the only thing I wish it had was the uh, lever to go up and down, right or left. But it doesn't have one. So that's okay. And these legs fold up like so. Okay. And it has a really nice bag. I'll show you that in a minute. But also, this leg, one leg comes off here. And you can put this, this head on here. So you have a monopod, which is pretty cool. I like that. Get this back in here. But the bag, it comes this real nice bag here, and then it comes with this little cover for your ball. It just goes right over the top of your ball to protect it a little bit. Just like that. So that's pretty neat. And then of course it goes in this bag here, and you go carry on your shoulder. And it's actually pretty light, and I do like it. And again, that'll be in the description below um, with everything. So again, uh, let's come back with uh, some final thoughts and um, close today's show out. There we go. Lost myself for a minute. Okay, so for today, um, I was again. They both of them shot tight groups. They're within very, very within an inch of each other. Um, but this one more the 110 grain or the 12.8 uh, grain um, insert flew to the right. Now this bow was sighted with these hundred or the, with these. Uh, um, 12.8 or 12.5 grain inserts. 
and that's 110. So the 110 actually flew closer to where I was shooting at. So, tell me what you think. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see in the video of where, where everything was going, but um, this using this uh, this Canon Vixa for the first time, um, I see I got some adjustments to make on zooming in more on the target. Uh, so, just don't tell my wife that I was using this. Um, it comes with this nice big battery on it. Um, but I bought her some extra batteries though. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty nice little handy cam. Try it. It was, I think I got it for 250 bucks. And uh, as you can see, in the, the color on it was excellent. I really like the color on it. Um, and that's without a filter. No filter on it whatsoever. But I did order or a filter for, for lens protector. So, if you can't afford a, um, you know, the, the more expensive cameras, um, this one right here, that'll do you just fine. Alrighty, so let's move on here. So remember, our men and women in blue, give them a big shout out, give them a big thank you. Uh, remember our military people, give them a big thank you also. And remember first responders, medics save lives, EMTs save medics. And of course, family first, as you heard mine. Take care of your family, and by all means, get out there and hunt. And thank you for watching Utah Crossbow Hunter.